Welcome to this week's Amaka Windy Netcast. I'm your presenter, Dr. Angel Lukomona, and also chairman of the organization. May I all again appreciate for those people uh, who have been consistently praying for Amaka Wingi, participating in Amaka Wingi programs, and supporting uh, the vision. Our vision is to encourage at least 300 Zambians and friends to invest in Zambia in a cluster formation. This is what we believe in because we believe that more people coming together, they reverage. And I want to thank you for uh, having a, a listen to the uh, uh, last week's uh, netcast. It was fantastic. We've seen the hits of people who have seen the uh, presentation and I trust that you're going to enjoy this one as well and it become very informative. And for next week, if you want to phone in and say something or contribute to the program, anything at all regarding the area of investment, it could be a question, I'll keep my phone on. I know I record around about 10.30 p.m. That's when I go on a show today. I'm a bit late. I'm in about. But the thing is, I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to hear your voice. I'd like to hear your views. I'd like to, you to participate. And I believe that this is the time that God has given us to make a very big impact. Where are you going to be in the next 250 years? What would you say? What would the great, great, great grandchildren say about you having lived in the diaspora? That is to say, away from your country, Zambia, in the UK, Canada, USA, Australia, or anywhere where you are, as long as you're not in the mainland Zambia, you are in the diaspora. And I want to tell you that the World Bank statistics say that 400 billion US dollars, around 400 billion US dollars, Google the details, but I find this to be quite right. He says, go back into the country of origin. The diaspora people remit their finances back into their country of origin, equivalent of 400 billion US dollars. And they say that this actually is a three times, and I count again, one, two, three times bigger than the aid they receive from the Western world. And they say that they are, the money that you remit is actually a lifeline because it goes back into the country to support in uh, maybe rentals, maybe medical issues, maybe funerals, and many other important issues about your family's life. And that's very good. Now, I want us to go to another level where we see on a large scale, this kind of money is put in a, an economic structure and we invest in Zambia in all the nine or ten provinces we have. Think about this. You are counted and I believe you're going to get in. I'm promoting this uh, netcast because of the forthcoming event, 31st of March 2012. It is pivotal for what's going to be happening in the next many, many, many years. I want you to come as a chief executive, business owner, entrepreneur, or you're still in the making, you don't have to, to own a business, you don't have to, to have anything tangible on the ground. As long as in your heart you've been thinking of going to business, this meeting is for you. Invite friends, bring a colleague in, let's make it work. The Zamenai Commission will be there, and we, we thank God, we thank God we received um, uh, yet a, a new government and the fantastic things are happening. I'm looking forward to meet His Excellency as he comes over to this meeting. It's going to be great. This is our time. Let's make things happen. No one can make things happen except you participate. I want to thank the sponsors, the backdrop you see behind there. They sponsored some aspects of this program. Uh, CPA College, they offer a wide range of courses, part-time, self-study, and distant learning. Full-time is available. You can learn from anywhere in the world. You people in Zambia, watch out for the adverts. I think they are in the weekly posts in the coming weeks. You can study business administration. You can go on an entrepreneurship course. You can do health and social care, a wide range of subjects. Go on the website that comes up on the screen. 
www.cpacollege.org.uk. These are some of their powerful organizations that we work with. And I believe that you also can participate in CPD, Continuous Profession Development, through various forms that we offer. Now, let me just bring something very important. I want to show you a, a several clips today so that you see how people are participating in these programs. I'll show you after uh, 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 this uh, sh short, short break, I'll show you a clip. I'll show you a clip of one of the meetings, local meetings, called de developed group meetings. One has uh, been born as well in uh, Comfort. And you're going to see people learning together, smaller groups. If you're in any part of the, uh, the, the, the country in the UK, or even outside the UK, because I know Canada, uh, people in Canada, they, they've applied and they're launching a group there very soon. A powerful lady who I'll mention next week is starting a Makayawingi group in Canada. And this is what we want. We are a capacity building organization on the issues of investment, uh, business startups, and so forth. So don't miss out. You are the people who are counted uh, to develop your community. Your community needs you. The exposure that you've had as a person in diaspora is so important that we cannot afford not to get you involved. We are a community that is moving forward. I am so delighted that actually Zambia is a champion. We are champions of the African Cup of Nations. And this is beautiful. Our friends from different parts of the, the, the Africa, uh, especially Sadiq, they're supporting us so much. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. It's a joyful thing. So Zambia is on the move. Now, before I go any further, I, I don't want you to miss out. There's something that I, I, I say uh, about knowledge. Knowledge is a key to success. I've got in uh, um, some production. This one uh, is called The Field and the Harvest. It's very, very powerful, and actually, a, you get a lot of information out of it. Uh, order it. You can find uh, the ordering details on the local Divine Media. And I've also got every Zambian is a millionaire. Many people have obtained this and they found some value in it. I would rather they, they phone in and give comments on what they learned from there. I've also got um, a, DVD, a CD by Dr. Wilbrod Motale. It is called Amakaya Wingi. Quite a few of you have already got this CD, but if you haven't had this CD yet, it's still available on sale. Give us a call, go or visit it. the local divine media www.localdivinemedia.co.uk. I'm sure the uh, um, website address just pops up on the screen right now. Now, watch this clip. This clip is from uh, last year, 31st of December. People came together to learn about aspects of your group of families. Should you take us 10 minutes from me? Now, can you give me what's there now? Okay. There's debit. There's credit. There's asset. There's liability. Okay. So in your group, you'll be writing there, yeah? Your group, because there's a board, you'll be placing things in there. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is, you have to debate as a group, okay? I'll give you certain things, and I want you to place them in the right place, okay? Um, you are the cashier. <coughs> you are the cashier. Who is the cashier here? You are the cashier. <laughs> right. Now, here's the first question, yeah? Here's the first question. I've given you some cash. I've given you some cash. Can you find um, four thousand pounds? Have you got four thousand pounds? Yes, four thousand pounds on both sides. Yeah. Now, I am, I am, I am a banker. I am a banker. And you came to me, and I gave you. Four thousand pounds. Which side of that quadrant I've given you would that be? Can you drop it there and have a reason? First, discuss it. I'm a banker. 
It could be a, I'm just, you came to my, to my, to my team and you said, can I get 4,000 fund places? And I gave it to you. Now, which side of your account? Now, discuss it. I've got to have a reason. Which side of the uh, quadrants I've given you? Yeah. I've given you, I'm a banker. <laughs> Mind you, mind you, I haven't said it's a loan or it's a what, you just came to my account and said, can I, I take 4,000 pounds out and I give it to you? But you can't get just money like that from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a negotiation somehow. No. So, where, which side of your account would it be? Yes. Yes. I think it's both. I think it's both. Can it stick there? Oh, I think it's stick. Can it stick there? No, oh, okay. Okay. I, can, I can write. Where do I just put it? Here. Four. Did you say 4,000? 4,000. Are you happy with that? Yes. yes. Should we put it in both? And put there. No, 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 no. Just, just the one. Just the one. Just one. Oh, I think. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Because when it is a credit, credit you know, with the drone, no, no, no. no, it's given no. us. When you went there, you said, you don't have money. You don't have money. You don't have money. You don't have money. When the bank gives you the money, okay. what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Okay, that question is over. Are you happy? Yes. It's over. Good. Now, let me show you another clip of what people actually up to in the group. You gave uh, five talents to one, then you gave two to one, then he gave one to one. Now, uh, why he gave them those is he wanted a return from each one of them. And so you will see from how he responded to the one that gave, that came and invested five more. The one who had five and brought five more. Uh, and the Lord says, well done, faithful, seven. And the one that had two also did multiply. In other words, whatever God gives us, it is not only the praise, whatever God gives us as a gift, He wants us to multiply. I'm sure you enjoyed that clip. Now, I want you to imagine that you are part and parcel of everything good that Zambia stands for while you're abroad. You're in Zambia, you're outside Zambia, you're still Zambians and you're still Zambian and you are needed to participate in the development of your country economically. And we, people in the diaspora, we are very important because we are going to take back home skills, exposure, attitudes, which are good attitudes, timekeeping. Most of you have improved in timekeeping because you've traveled abroad. You've seen how other people keep time. We're going to take maybe prudence. You become prudent because of the nature of life. You become more focused because of the nature of life. I received a friend of mine a long, long time ago in, in um, uh, Wolverhampton, where I lived before. And he saw how we lived and how the people lived. He said, wow, you guys here, time is of essence. You don't waste time. Time is important. Every hour counts. Then he wondered how they wasted time. He, he could just, nobody told him, he just saw it. So that discipline is important. Therefore, we are inviting you, will you bring that kind of attitude into the business realm? Come and invest in Zambia. Zambia is your home. Give your children something to be proud of. You are the parent to give your children uh, something to count on, say, my mom and dad participated and got investment in means power in coming together. In English it says, power in coming together. In Tonga it means, power in coming together. In Nyanja it means, power in coming together. One man can only achieve that little. So many people who achieve, Lord, as far as you can go, as far as my hand can go, 
Mm -hmm. Let me so to, uh, thank God again for uh, having uh, taken time to listen to this uh, uh, program because I know that your time is important and for you to be on the website to listen to me it means that you respect what I'm saying and God will richly bless you. And I tell you that the skills you've got are very important and don't look down upon yourself. Probably you find yourself doing maybe uh, a, a, something you don't quite like to do. I tell you that you are learning systems because systems are important for development. And once you revert re back into your main realm of study uh, that you studied before and uh, you get your career going, you find that the things you went through build your stamina to be able to do uh, better things or greater things. To be able to lead others, to be able to maybe to, to run a business, you need certain discipline that can only come by experience. So do not look down upon yourself regardless of what you've been through because you are very special, you are important and I'm waiting to work with you.